Hey, hey, it's more love bugs. You have now tuned in to my catfish recap. Guys, be sure to subscribe if you have not yet done so. Also, be sure to share this video wherever you like to share videos like Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus, or wherever, okay? And also check out my Empire recap. I just put that up not too long ago. So, the co-host for today was Tyler Oakley, which is like somebody who is like YouTube famous. You always, being a YouTuber, you always hear about Tyler Oakley on so many different platforms. He's definitely like a YouTube star, YouTube famous, YouTube celebrity, whatever. Uh, he has like 5 million subscribers and counting. Probably he's going to make like 10 million by the end of this show. So Daisy is the person that contacted them. She met Marcus uh, through Instagram the summer of 2013. He lives in Cincinnati and he does like video production on the side. They never smoke, spoke on the phone, which was like super weird because it's like, okay, you yeah, video chatting, okay, we can say, you know, that's a little more complex. You know, you got to get all dolled up. I mean, for guys, you don't got to get all dolled up. Maybe unless you have like some insecurities, then I'll see you won't want to do video or maybe you get camera shy or whatever but you're talking on the phone it's completely different like let's hear your voice what's up that's a little fishy it seems like you could be an act actually a girl or an old lady or an old man or something so her sister and her father they both passed away her sister was killed in a car crash burst into flames horrific and her father at one point, she had become a lesbian, I guess, or maybe she was bisexual. She had a girlfriend, and she was letting her family meet. I think she said she was letting her family meet the girl, and when they found out, they were just like, oh, I can't believe that you're doing this. This is not the way you were raised. You're different. And they, the mother was dropping her off at the train station to see her girlfriend, and the father ended up having a stroke and a heart attack. So her mother kind of blames her for it. And even when they were talking to her mother, her mother kind of seemed like she had some resentment towards her, like she was holding on to something. She, The way she talks about her, and I, I can say this is, a lot of times it can be with immigrant parents that are from different countries. I feel like they tend to speak a little more harsh. They tend to really say what's on their mind a lot more than people that are here in America or that were raised here or whatever. Because um, I know my mom, because she would have probably been just the same thing like the, the things that this woman was saying. Oh, he probably has a woman. <laughs> he probably has somebody. He's playing with her. Like She would say every single negative thing that you can think of. It wouldn't be one positive thing that would have came out of her mouth. Like, I would have dead had to, like, walk away so that I won't disrespect. And that's exactly what I feel like this the the mother was doing. And she's from Honduras. And she could tell there was a, a little bit of a land. Well, she could understand and everything. But you can still tell she had a very strong accent. And it was the only person that she really has on her side as far as support is her sister. Her sister looked like she's really, like, rooting for her and... She believes in her. And her sister said that. She was like, I'm the only one that really believes in her. And you can't be here with mom forever because... And I think that that's another thing too. Because this guy is so nice to her, she feels as though he's going to be her savior. Because she even mentioned that she wants a ring. She wants to move forward. But I feel like she needs to move forward with somebody in her city. Or somebody maybe she'll find... Well, I would have said in school, but she's going to beauty school. So that probably wouldn't work out too well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But um, Tyler Oakley, he was pretty entertaining to be like a co-host. I mean, he's very entertaining on YouTube. I don't watch him that much, but I've seen a few things that he's been in. I mean, it's like you can't, you can't miss him. He's everywhere. So she says that she spent money on him. She bought him a DSLR, which is like, I don't have my camera out right now, but it's similar to my camera, but probably not the same version because mine was a little bit more than that. Um, she said she paid like a thousand dollars for that. Then she also said that she bought him clothes. She bought him like different types of gifts and he never bought her anything. So I'm like, this dude is taking your money. She said she even gave him money once. And then the mother said that she's the one that is the person that contributes or she has to put in so that he can get these gifts. 
And she doesn't really pay her back. Only if it's like a small amount of money, she'll pay her back. But for the most part, she usually doesn't. And I'm like, but she was like that. She can't do it anymore because she stopped all that. I'm like, you should have been stopped this. Somebody tell me they trying to send something to their boyfriend, they met on Instagram. I'd have slapped my child in their face. You crazy? How you lost your flipping mind? <laughs> I'm a contributor to your what you want to do. I ain't tell you to go on the freaking thing and even talk to him. <laughs> so yeah, that was the situation with that. Like the, some things like that, she was kind of sounding like an airhead. That those kind of things was making me mad. It's like you're trying to buy his friendship, trying to buy his love, and you don't even you never even spoken to him on the phone. So da Daisy sends me. I mean, not Daisy. Was it Daisy? No, the guy, he sent Neve a text. Well, after they do the whole investigation, they've seen some things that seems like he could be himself or he could be a woman. He could be a mom. The mom, the number did kind of register to him and his family. So that was a part of a good part. But they're saying, you know, they're not really sure 100% still that it's a guy. Uh, later on, the, the guy does send Neve a text message to say that he doesn't really want to do this. He wants to do it on his own terms. And he just doesn't feel right about this whole thing. And they were actually on their way there. They were like in the airport. Because they already have his address. Because she always sends him stuff. So she, they was like, let's just go there and show up. But he texts them that. But they were like, you know what? We're still going to go. So that, no, that was before they left. Then when they were there in the airport, that he texts them back again. Like, okay, you know, I changed my mind. I think that we're going to be able to do this. I think he did that like four times. I don't even think, did I write that all of the times? I know there was another point where first he said no, then he said yes. When they were on their way, he agreed. And then he calls again and told them that he changed his mind. And then after Neve got out of yoga in Cincinnati, that's when finally he texted him one more time and said that he'll be prepared by Saturday in order uh, to do this. And he just was feeling leery about the whole being on camera thing. But now, well, I'll get into that momentarily. So when they pull up, he comes with his cousin, I think it was. And it was really him. So this wasn't too much of a, a cat, a true catfish, because it was really him. Um, but when he's talking, he just seems very shy. He says he likes to do things on his own terms. And that's the reason why he doesn't like to text message. Because he has like a comfort zone. And that was kind of out. I'm like, dude, you done got too into this whole text message business. And that's the thing. Is that a lot of people. My battery's about to die. Let me see if I can put this charger in. A lot of people, they tend to. Alright, let me pull this over. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're back. We, we didn't get lost. Thank goodness. A lot of people, they, they tend to not want to talk on the phone anymore. Like that special type of communication is lost and that's why i feel like a lot of relationships fail is because everybody wants to text message and sometimes things can really get misconstrued in text messages they can get misconstrued they can get mumble jumble you think somebody's yelling at you when they're really not it's, it's all kind of different things that can occur while you're text messaging and i know i've had that instance before where it's like hold on let me call you because you don't understand what it is that i'm trying to say right now and we gotta fix it okay because yeah you're, you're taking this all wrong you're getting defensive for no apparent reason i'm not even trying to say it like that like do i have to put smiley faces every time i talk to you those types of things. Or LOL every time. It's not always a, a laughing matter. Maybe I just want to talk. You know, it's not an LOL type of thing. So that's that's where the problem kind of lies. Or part of the problem. And when they have their little sit down and talking. He just seems like he just wants to do his own thing. Maybe he's a college student. He's like 25 or whatever. He, he works in production. He probably sees beautiful women all the time. Models and this and that. And. He just wants to be a playboy. That's that's what it looks like to, to me. She even asked him, like, what, do you see this going anywhere? And he's just like, well, you know, I can't determine what's going to happen. I like what we're doing now, though. He just wants to have a pen pal, uh, a, a buddy to chat on, maybe a share, exchange photos. And he still gets to live his normal life with chicks that, it is, that are in his city. He's not trying to settle down. Like, she needs to move on. 
and get with the real thing because this dude is not it. She's looking for something stable, something to rescue her from where she is, and I feel like he's not the one. And then when they do the little update, she says that she kind of sees where they're at. He's more like a best friend to her, but they don't really, I think she said they don't really talk as much as they used to. Um, she had some cute little red hair in her hair that time. She's about to do cosmetology school. And, um, yeah, he's doing his own thing. And then he said that he, what did he say? He said he doesn't want a girl right now. He said, well, it's like when you have a, uh, it's like you don't want to have a slice of pizza when you can, when you need to go out and try all of them. Or something along those lines. I'm like, ew, he pretty much said what he's trying to do. He want all of the ladies in them. That's what he is doing. And he just proved it by saying that. Like, I was kind of just... Hmm, it seems like, but no, he pretty much said it out of his own freaking mouth. So she definitely needs to not invest her heart into this and move on. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thanks for watching. Be sure to stay fabulous, live free, and soar limitless. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Laters.